Hey bakers, today on Cakes by MK I am going to be showing you how to flawlessly cover a layer cake in frosting and get those beautifully smooth sides and sharp edges. To start off, you want to make sure your cake layers are nice and flat. So place your cake layer in the middle of your turntable and then grab a serrated knife and hold it up against the side of your cake at the height you want to trim it. And then start making a cut into your cake as you turn your turntable. So your knife is going to stay in the exact same position and your turntable is what's moving the cake around. Now once you get back to the initial cut you made at the beginning, you're going to start slowly bringing your knife into your cake as you continue to turn your turntable and eventually the top of your cake will almost magically just slide off and that is basically it you've got a nice flat cake layer ready to go and you just want to do the same thing for your other cake layers my other two layers are already pretty flat so I'm just cleaning them up a little now before you start building your cake you want to make sure your frosting is nice and smooth like this and doesn't have too many air bubbles I'll post some links below to some videos on how to get super smooth frosting if you want some extra tips and tricks and today I'm using a Swiss meringue buttercream. I just love how smooth it is and I'll post a link below to that recipe as well. Okay, let's get decorating. So I'm starting off by placing a tea towel on my turntable. This just helps prevent the cake from sliding around too much. And then I've got a 10 inch acrylic disc here which I'm using as my cake board and I'm placing that in the middle of my turntable. Now a really helpful tool to have when cake decorating is an offset spatula and the little dip by the handle helps when applying frosting to the cake and later on when we come to getting sharp edges on the top of our cake. So I'm using the offset spatula to apply a little bit of frosting to the middle of the cake board which acts as a glue to help our cake stick to our cake board and then I'm placing my first cake layer on top. Once you've made sure it's in the middle, you want to go ahead and add a generous amount of frosting on top of the cake layer and then use your offset spatula to spread out the frosting. Now if you take a closer look, I'm using a special technique here where I'm spreading out the frosting from the top and using a back and forth motion to get it nice and even. And by doing it this way, it means my spatula never has to touch the top of the cake and as a result it helps to prevent crumbs from getting into my frosting. Now to finish off, I'm holding my spatula at a slight angle and just turning my turntable to smooth it all out. Once that's done, my next cake layer is going on top of that and then I'm doing the exact same thing with my frosting. So smoothing it out from the top in that back and forth motion and then once the top of the cake is covered in frosting, I'm smoothing it all out by holding my spatula at a slight angle and turning my turntable. Now for my last layer, I'm going to flip my cake over so the bottom of the cake is the top of my layer cake. And that's just so that the top of the cake is really nice and flat. Once that's done, it's now time to cover the outside of the cake and our first layer of frosting, which is called a crumb coat. So a crumb coat is basically a thin layer of frosting on the outside of the cake, which is then chilled before placing your final layer of frosting on top. And what the crumb coat does is it traps any crumbs in that initial coat of buttercream so that we don't have any crumbs coming through in our final layer of frosting. So I've just gone ahead and applied a thin layer of frosting on the top of my cake, and then I'm using the excess frosting on the side to cover the sides of the cake and once my cake is all covered I'm just using my cake scraper to smooth everything out. Now a quick note here I'm scraping the excess frosting on my cake scraper onto a different plate as opposed to back into my bowl of frosting because you may have some crumbs in the frosting you're scraping off the crumb coat so you don't want to mix that in with your frosting that you're going to be using to do your final coat of buttercream. Now before I finish my crumb coat I like to clean the bottom of my cake board and I do this by holding my cake scraper at an angle up against my cake board and then just turn my turntable and that does a pretty good job. And then that is it, my crumb coat is done and now this is going to go into the fridge for 30 minutes before doing our final coat of frosting. Now once your cake is ready to be frosted again, you may notice that your frosting isn't quite the same smooth consistency it was before. And this happens when frosting is left to sit untouched for a certain amount of time, especially if it's cold and your frosting is, you know, kind of firming up a little. So what I like to do is heat up my buttercream for literally like 10 seconds, not too long, and then re-whip it for a few minutes with the paddle attachment and then you're back to beautifully smooth frosting. So for my final coat, I'm starting off by placing a generous amount of frosting on top and then smoothing it out with my offset spatula. When doing your final coat, you want to put a thick layer of frosting on because when we come to smoothing out the top and the sides, some of that frosting will be coming off and you want to make sure you have a thick enough coat that you don't end up back at your crumb coat when scraping off that frosting. 
So once the top is smoothed out, I'm using my offset spatula to place a generous amount of frosting on the sides of the cake. Again, a decent thick layer here. And then once that's done, I'm using my cake scraper to smooth the sides. So when using your cake scraper, you want to hold it upright against your cake and just apply a little pressure, not too much, and start turning your turntable as you smooth out the frosting. And every time you scrape your cake, you want to make sure you're getting rid of that excess frosting on your cake scraper before using it to scrape your cake again. So you just want to continue to do this until you've got an even layer of frosting all around your cake. If you notice some holes or parts of your cake that need some more frosting, then just apply a little more and scrape again. Now once you're happy with the sides, you want to smooth out the lip of frosting on the top of your cake. And to do this, you want to hold your offset spatula horizontally in line with the cake, and then slowly bring your spatula into the middle of the cake as you gently turn your turntable. Then scrape off the excess buttercream and repeat, until you've gotten rid of that excess frosting from the top. Now I like to smooth the entire top once I'm done by placing my offset spatula on top at a very slight angle and gently scraping the top as I turn the turntable. Now if you've applied a little too much pressure like I have here, you may have some frosting coming out the sides of your cake at the top. So I'm just smoothing out the sides one more time and then scraping off the little lip of frosting on the top again with my offset spatula. Now if you want, you can stop right there and that is your cake done, but I like to do one more step which is optional, but it just helps everything become super super smooth, and that is to place your cake in the fridge for about 2 hours, and then use your cake scraper again to scrape the entire cake. And you're basically scraping cold buttercream here, so it's almost like you're carving the cake, but yeah, it just helps everything become super smooth and makes the top edges super sharp. So I'm just finishing off here with one last scrape with a very clean cake scraper to get off any excess frosting I've carved off my cake. And then that is it, a beautifully covered cake ready to decorate. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up below and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.